Welcome back to Gaming with Pants, and today I'm going to be playing some more Firewatch. Now, the story took a uh, interesting turn uh, on the first day, so let's see where this goes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pick up radio. Hey, wake up. I'm awake! I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Uh-oh. Uh, there's no backup. I don't really know Can I go fix it? This. Should I be worried? Can I go, can I go fix, fix it? it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, yeah of course. So, you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. No. No. Okay. okay, all right. Let's go find the phone lines. But if there's some, like, crazy, like killer type out here you know don't want to really be out so let's see it was back past back past the uh, outhouse and generator I wonder if we can get back down the same way I came back up I don't know about climbing down oh yeah climb down oh that's so bad on the knees. Here we go, here we go. Oh, my spine. Um, that's the way I went originally, so let's go back down the smoother path. I'm not, not jumping off a mountain. Broken trees. Okay, so here. Joggity jog. <laughs> I'm going to be losing that beer belly. Ooh, but I got that whiskey back at my tower. I should go drink that. I should have drank that for courage before I came down here. Okay. I remember how to use the flashlight. Is it down? Yeah, it's down the creek, huh? Report fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Drinking beers. Talk about chip buckets. Talk uh, about know, buckets. Uh, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. I'm just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? What? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Uh, hey, your button is still down. I'm absolutely sure. Delilah, I can Would hear you. you. Alright. I'll let I you know said if anything I could... changes in that regard. Wait, are you talking about me? Who are you talking to? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like so, your so wife? Can't go up that or way. like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. Uh. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Right on. Right on. So... Am I going the right direction? I'm supposed to be going north. 
Okay, so up, up there. Did she say there's bears out here? But then there's also some creepy psychopaths. Hopefully it just is the girls that are mad at me. Oh, there's the there's the phone line. Okay. Oops. There we go. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Top of the trail. Looks good there, right? Looks like it's good. Yes, okay, good. Good, good, good. Good. Got some, some signs. Okay. Still looks good. So the storm knocked it out, you'd think it like, you know, pole would be knocked over or something. But I don't see anything. Oh, way... Oh, it looks like it's broken way up there. Oh, and that is way up there. Jeez. What was that? That was just me. That was just me. Knocking the bushes around. Oh, it sounds like somebody's following me. Something's rustling the brush. Okay. If we can get up over here. Huh? I can hear it, man. Beer cans. Hey, so... There are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? How can these girls be so stupid? Why do you Why think, do you they'd, think be they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. True that? But I could have sworn I heard somebody behind me earlier. Why does the game all of a sudden got to get creepy, you know? First this is sad, you know, interesting little storyline, now it's like creepy. Oh, more beer cans. I'm gonna need like six backpacks just to carry out the beer cans. <sighs> oh. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is... illegal. Oh, <laughs> hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> yeah. Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Like this trail of beer cans? Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Oh, Maybe they looped back it. around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. You know, I know there's two of them, but that's an awful lot of beer really quickly. To, uh, for just two people to be drinking. Now I, now the trail, trail's gone cold. What do we have? Yeah. 
Now, where's my map again? There's my map. Zoom in. Okay, so I'm going back towards the lake. Oh, wow. So, I want to go south. I want to go that way. Okay. Man, I'm a spelunker. I'm like a, I'm like a little mountain goat up up all up in here. Oh, what is that? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Looks pretty empty. Brian Goodwin's backpack. Ooh! Camera. More rope. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? I just haven't heard that name in a few years. A few years? Ranger? Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Hmm. Why? Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. <laughs> I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Why can't I get down through here? Oh, right there. <laughs> I'm dumb. There we go. Now, repel down her. So they took off halfway through the summer. I think they were killed by those girls. Or the creepy dude with the flashlight. Or they are the creepy dude with the flashlight. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we got in this box. Copy map. Oh, scribble, scribble. Uh, oh, there's a note. Oh, there was a read one. There's Y. Oh, Dave. Guess who's going out with Debbie to next next week? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. No, the not that shit. He heal. Steve, it's your man, Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself, more than usual for Lowe's, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the de deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot, Ron. Okay, let's, let's let's keep that. Let's keep that. What else is in here? A loose stone. Examine. Nothing. Huh. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oops, I didn't want to throw it. 
I wanted to examine it. Huh. Let's put it back in the box. Or under the box. Yeah, under the box works for me, too. Okay. Am I still going the right direction? Yeah, I'm heading south. What does she have? Oh. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Uh, scary. We didn't get it. Devastating. We'll do scary. We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Huh. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Well? Well? I don't see anything. I'd be heading... Should I just keep going for the lake? I mean, that's where I found them. Originally. Okay. That would be the way to the lake, I think. Well, I should check my map. Let's check. Zoom in, zoom in. Yeah, I still need to be going south. Then I'll hit the creek, and then I can go down. Yeah. It's either the wind blowing the trees around or somebody is following me. Ah. Getting a little creeped out, you know? Uh, just keep going south. Back to the lake. a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Oh. Flapjack? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? You like that? This guy is the freaking king of the flapjacks. Yeah, that's solid. I'll have to keep that one in my pocket. It's all yours. Nice. Okay, I'm still heading south, southerly direction. Okay, so let's get... We'll try so, to get back to the lake. How'd you meet? Uh... Met at a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. I got a hamburger. Don't forget the hamburger. I was drunk. And she bought me a hamburger. A uh, cheeseburger. Even. Even better. A cheeseburger. Doop, 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 doop. Okay. Now. Oh. Whoa. It's ways down there, it looks like. Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no. I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Yeah. Sexy as hell. Yeah. And repelling down. I got, I, I'm close to the lake because I remember that's the creek. I think this is uh, right over by the cave. Or no, that's where we squeezed through to get to the cave because I couldn't go up there. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's where it was. Okay. I'll just run through the water. I don't care. It looks like it's warmed up. So I should dry out pretty quick. <clears throat> Not too concerned about it this time. You know, last time I was, you know, I didn't know where I was. A scared little bunny rabbit out all alone. See what? Smoke plume? Yeah, I think so. That thin plume of smoke? Yeah. Is that it? Looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek. It's in the southwest quadrant of your map. What, you think it's those girls? I'm oh, pretty that. sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd wow. call that a safe bet. Okay, Man, here we they go. They really do not give a shit, do they? <sighs> not a one. I see, I gotta go up here. I saw that little bridge. Oh, wait, she said past the meadow. Not even down that far. Okay, so I do. I need to get all the way back down to the lake. Or do I have to go back up and use that natural bridge? Nope. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke plume. Great. Find your way over there and give them hell. I wonder if they have anything else, any other electronics I can throw in the lake. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Um, are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? Uh, you should go be with her. I don't know yet. I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it. Right now, I'm trying to hunt down some vandals, and I don't even know what I'm going to do when I find them. I'm There's not thinking a trail. very far ahead. You should go see her. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better. And that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I, I don't know. Always do my best. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Wish I had a jump button. I could just hop up. You know, I could rappel down the side of a mountain, but I can't, like, climb over a little tiny rock. Yeah, you know, that's just silly. Just silly game mechanics. Okay... Oh, I can rappel down here. Let's see, I can rappel here, but you know, I can't climb over that rock. That's, that's, that's just, that's just. Oh well, we'll find them. Let's go find those girls and slap them. Tell them the fire's stupid. And that I stole their whiskey and I'm going to go back and I'm going to drink it. And I'm not going to think of them while I'm drinking it. I lost the smoke. Uh-oh. Uh, what's that? Huh? It's not happy time music. Where'd the smoke? I lost it. Darn it. Did I already open this boxing? Nope. Boom. One, two, three, po. Easy peasy. Mark on map. And let's see what else we got. Ooh, a missing persons flyer. Read. Mitch Mitchells. 31, height 6'2, weight 165 pounds, hair short brown. Identifying features, distinctive facial hair. General info, Mitch Mitchell was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location, Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981. 
vehicle vehicle information, 1972 Ford F-250, blue and white, Montana license plate 2807326. If you have seen, contact them or have more info, please contact Shoshan National Forest Dispatch. Uh, let's keep that. Pine cones, just pine cones. There's always just pine cones. I want you damn pine cones. And now I can't radio her because I needed to have it. Okay. Lush forest. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. But yeah, I they did. share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. So this one, so I'm just following this, down, down to Goblin Town. But I don't see the plume of smoke anymore. That's what concerns me. It's like either they put it out or it got put out. Oh. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Or are we? I don't know. Ooh, the water my fall. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Ah, so much beer cans. That one was on this side. We'll head down this way. Nothing down here. Unless they're up above the waterfall. It's starting to get dark out, man. I don't want to be out here in the dark looking for these people. Especially if they're capable of going and wrecking my shit. Oh, there's the smoke. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. <laughs> well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. I have entered the teen zone. My oh, sheets! really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. Those are my sheets. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... These More girls beer. have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. It's not full. There's some dedication. But there's quite a bit. Why can't I take it? I, I can take the whiskey. Here's the tent. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... Torn clothes. I don't know. It sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. There, that should do it. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. 
it's not letting me. Uh, it's torn clothes, clothes too. Torn uh, that's not good. What is the note? The note. Okay. Read. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross. Out. Oh, is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Huh. So... They think it was me. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone... me, I guess? A note. Well, what's it say? Uh, attack them. It's just uh, it's an apology. I need to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No. No, but I destroyed their stereo. No way I just stole their booze. Do you know anything? Uh, Henry, no. Did you attack or do anything that could be perceived ah. as an attack to these campers? No. No, well, hey, I didn't I, do this. I destroyed okay, the radio. Went, something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too, that's what I came out here for. Oh, day three. So I don't have to make it back to my... my fire watch tower? So that's nice. Well, like I said, I'm just gonna do um, each day as a video. So, um, I'm going to, uh, uh, leave this video here, and, um, uh, I, uh, I'm really enjoying the game. It's kind of weird, um, so, the girl, so there is no weird creepy killer, I guess. It was just, uh, I made those girls mad. Um, well, anyway, this has been Pants. I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you later.